Some people think that high ideals are inconsistent with the running of an intelligence service. I am not one of those people. This country was founded on high ideals, equality, justice, fairness. When we sacrifice those in the name of power, we not only lose power, we lose who we are. We lose everything. Admiral Kramer, I must say I find your remarks refreshing and your appointment as director for the CIA very encouraging for the future of this troubled agency. Thank you, sir. Senator Gilliam. Admiral Kramer, if I may, I would like to ask you about the circumstances surrounding Operation Treadstone. Yes, ma'am. The law specifically prohibits the CIA from political assassination. Operation Treadstone was, and I emphasize was, a program to turn American servicemen into assassins in direct contravention of the law. Let me say this. When I graduated from Annapolis many years ago, I took an oath to uphold the Constitution. I take that oath seriously. I defended that oath in combat. Senator, Operation Treadstone is dead. Okay. Tom, then if you chase up the Seabright file, that'll be great. Coming right from the Information and Privacy yeah. Coordinator. Okay. So I've got that covered too. The director would like to see you. Uh, we need to get those warrants out. He said out it's for urgent. Well, we need the warrants for signature. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that this afternoon. Uh-huh. Pamela Landy, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You know these guys. Have a seat. Pay off some secret bank accounts, alliances with unsavory Russian billionaires, alcoholism, drugs, suicide. You couldn't make this stuff up. We did the best we could under the circumstances. Murder for hire. Turned into that. You report it? Through channels. Blow the whistle on it. Not my style. But you were opposed to it. Yes. And just what? Ineffective? It was my understanding that Treadstone was concluded. What about that is ineffective? Your clearance has been revoked. Your cases have all been reassigned. They told me you were an adult. Before or after they asked for my head? They didn't. This is my decision. I just want you to know that this isn't personal. Never is with you. So, uh, what's next? No clue, but I'll figure it out. Good luck, Noah. Thank you.
you ever consider the damage you might be doing? I considered it. You were writing about top secret surveillance operations, for Christ's sake. So why did you bring me to Turin, then? I've been calling you for three years, and every time you swear your State Department, no connection to CIA. Then Monday I call you, tell you I'm writing a story about Jason Bourne, and suddenly you want to meet me. What's going on? Okay. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to point you in the right direction. The rest is up to you. Arm, explosive. Who started Treadstone? Tout ce qui vous est arrivé ces trois dernières années, ce n'est rien en comparaison là, de ce qu'ils vont vous faire si vous continuez vos recherches. À l'histoire, par où je commence? Il y a un journaliste à Londres, Simon Rose. Il a l'air d'en savoir long sur vous. Il y a un informateur dans votre cellule. Quelqu'un qui l'a depuis le début. Qu'est-ce que je leur dis s'ils me recontactent Contact elle et passez le message de ma part. They give me the name I want, or I'll burn their entire house down to get it. Sir, we're outside the building. All right. on the left side, please. We move to the left, big team. Jesus Christ, Jason Bourne. Is Bourne the source? Activate the asset. Why was he so interested in Ross? Ross writes on intelligence for the Guardian, black ops, that sort of thing. If Bourne is looking to leak, Ross is an obvious choice. But why? Why would he do that? <laughs> to burn us down, maybe? I don't know. Pay back for losing a girlfriend in Goa, you tell me. By going to the press. Kind of an indirect way for an assassin to give payback. We need to find this guy, and we need to take him out. No, see, that's the mistake people keep making. A, he's really good at staying alive, and B, trying to kill him and failing just pisses him off. Well, then what do you suggest we do, Pam? Should we invite him to lunch? Well, we have to find him first, but when we do, yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Maybe then we'd find out what his story really is. Sir, a red flag just come up in the hub. Since when do we have authorization for lethal action against Daniels? Daniels cleaned out a Blackbriar safe and fled to Morocco. So, why don't you just grab him? 
I don't have the people on the ground to do that. And I cannot risk that file falling into the wrong hands. What's going on? What's Daniel's got? What's he got? He ran all of Blackbriar's operations in Southern Europe and North Africa. I think the whole world knows we have rendition and lethal action capability at this point, no? For Christ's sake, Pam, he has our entire playbook. Names, dates, ghost sites, how we train our assets. You still don't have the authority to kill him. Yes, I do. That's what makes us special. No red tape. No more getting the bad guys in our sights and then watching them escape while we wait for someone in Washington to issue the order. So you just decide? No oversight? No checks and balances? You've seen the raw intel, Pam. You know how real the threat is? We can't afford to have our hands tied like that anymore. I guess not. Get a simple story and stick to it. And just remember, if something feels wrong, it probably is. Just get out. Go somewhere else. Start over. Are you listening? Yeah. They're gonna come after you. 